Hi folks, this is all the fruit and we sure all love the banana. It's yellow, it's long, it's sweet, it's tasty. Yeah, sometimes it's bigger than this one. This is a Pisang Hotel here in Borneo. And what's better than a nice long yellow banana? You guessed it, a red banana. Those red fruits are an eye catcher not only in European supermarkets, but even on local markets here in Borneo. Most of the other banana varieties are yellow, but those are red. And they taste different, they have, different, uh, um, they have uh, a different chemical composition. Darker, redder fruits usually have uh, more antioxidants and a stronger taste. Good stuff. Okay, so what is better than a red banana? You guessed it, a yellow red banana. But wait, what's the difference between a normal yellow banana and the yellow red banana? Well, as I said, this is Tizang Hotel, like a standard um, small banana they use for all purposes here. This is the Pisang Raja Udang or the red Dhaka banana. Uh, the bananas where you have a really bright red color or even bright pink color, those are usually either photoshopped or colored. So those red bananas, usually they have kind of a reddish brownish color. With those it's not so beautiful because I schlepped them around for a long time. But yeah, don't expect a really crazy Miss Piggy color or blood red color on the bananas. And this here? is Pisang Badat. And whenever you ask what is Pisang Badat, people will tell you, oh, it's like the red banana just in yellow. I'm not sure about the origins of this Pisang Badat. It would be quite crazy like to find out that this was just the red banana, which to some mutation lost its red color and became yellow. Well, first interesting thing is where did this thing get the red color from? There are like a lot of bananas in the jungle with different colors. Most are yellow, even the wild bananas, but some stay white. Some are kind of reddish. My favorite is a white and purple spotted banana. But yeah, I wonder, well, there are also really bright pink bananas, like the very ornamental, uh, uh, what was it? Yeah, the pink banana with the super pink flowers and the super pink small hairy fruits. But I wonder where this comes from. Maybe a hybridization with some wild reddish banana. Yeah, but then where does this come from? Does it really originate from this through some mutation which lost the red color? Is it a closely related banana before it acquired the red color? Or is it some totally different banana which is just similar to this one? Uh, well, the proof of the banana is to eat it. So now we want to find out if I did a short internet research and I couldn't find any uh, concrete evidence on where this thing comes from. But now I'll try the taste. First the control group, the tiny Pisang Hotel. It's like, it's the cheap banana here in Borneo. It's not considered anything special. It grows well, it grows fast. Hmm. They definitely sold those to us as Pisa Hotel, but the inside is a bit golden. Mm. Also, the taste, it could be a Pisa Mas, a gold banana, which they sold as the cheap Pisa Hotel because it was so tiny and they didn't dare to ask for a higher price. It's my guess. You can find out, folks. So you can tell me if this is a Pisa Mas which is being sold in the Western world as snack bananas or formerly as baby bananas. Or if it is a pizza hotel. No, the red banana. This coincidentally is also not too uncommon in Western supermarkets. Nowadays, yeah, you will not find it in every supermarket, but if you check a couple supermarkets, you will probably in Germany find it. So the inside, yeah, the inside of the skin is also kind of yellowish, but even this is a lot more yellowish than a normal, uh, than a normal uh, Cavendish banana. Even more yellowish 
a little bit than the red banana, I would say. The flesh, well, let's open another one of those tiny ones. The flesh of the red banana is even darker than the flesh of the golden banana. It's a nice, yeah, orange rich color. Mm. Taste wise, it's quite good, it's soft. A nice rich taste, good consistency. I like it more than this one. This is absolutely rapid, it's a little bit hard and dry. This is mm, definitely softer and juicier. And now the important part is the comparison between the yellow one, which everybody says, this is just the red one but in yellow, and the real red one. As it can be expected, everything on the inside is also a little bit pale, but if you look at the flesh, it's not really much more pale than the red version. So inside, yeah, it's a little bit more pale, but not much more pale. Quite similar taste wise. I would say this is stronger and richer, but as I said, this is normal for most mm, dark colored fruits. Actually, I like to compare a lot of dark color with light colored varieties of many fruits and check with which the taste is the same or with which the taste differs. Both are good. I would say both are a little bit better than the Humble Pizza Hotel. Both are quite similar, yes, in their looks and also in their taste. Tell me, folks, how do you think those bananas developed? How did this red banana develop to begin with? Did it develop from the yellow, from this specific yellow banana? Did the Pizza um, Pizang Raja Odang develop from the Pizza Badat? by acquiring a red color, did the Pizang Badat develop from the Pizang Raja Odang by losing the red color, or are they just parallel evolution, two very similar bananas evolving and people started saying, this is just the yellow version of the yellow one, tell me your ideas about it or your research. Apart from that, stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful and incredibly fruit-rich island of Borneo, and of course, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.